with Marilyn Pierce, who has this amazing quilt in the Best of Australia exhibit, and she also has an entire exhibition just to herself of how many quilts? There are 14 in total, oh. which are a cross-section of what I've produced over the last 20 years. Wow, incredible. Well, I wonder if you could tell us a little bit about the Best of Australia exhibit. Each state in Australia, we have six states, has a, a quilt um, display every year, and from that quilt display, a Best of Show is chosen. Now that quilt then moves on to represent the state in the Best of Australia. And this exhibition is judged in Melbourne, the Australian Quilting Convention, every year in April. So tell us a little bit about this piece behind us now. This piece behind us is the sixth quilt I've produced in a series celebrating the work of Margaret Preston. So during, over the last 10 years, I've produced um, six quilts in this series, all hand applique, needle turn hand applique and machine quilted. And I've tried to highlight as much of her art as possible using different shapes and in every quilt. Marilyn, I'd love to hear a little bit of detail about your detail work. You have some incredible detail here, and I know a lot of people ask, how do you do the dots? But just in general, the applique is so fine. It's all needle turned applique, so each little piece is cut out individually with two or three strands of fibre around the edge. These strands of fibre are turned under by the needle as you sew around and secure the piece with tiny little stitches into the background. You use your th thumbnail to hold the little piece on like that for the work. Now, in other areas which are detailed, I've used an ap a stem stitch uh, with a, an embroidery thread to actually differentiate. I've sewn the whole piece in one section, then I have differentiated the areas with the stem stitch. And this gives a, a good demarcation between the shapes. It's very interesting. So it's like you're drawing with the stem stitch, the embroidery stitch. That's right. In this block here, all this detail is done with embroidery stitch, with stem stitch. And so here it's the light stitch on top of the dark fabric. And in some of the dots here, it's the dark thread outlining the light fabric. So That's right, okay. yes, yes. And in the leaves over here, and with um, the blossoms, they're defined with the stem stitch. So it's this area is sewn on in one piece, and then the definition is added using the stem stitch. And then the beading is added after that, and then the, 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 embroid, the technique with the quilting is to um, embellish it with the quilting. With the, wow, that's great. 